Welcome to the latest edition of our Seafood News Weekly Roundup show brought to you by Erner Berry Seafood Import Workshop Series. I'm Erner Berry and SeafoodNews.com editor Michael Ramsing reporting from Rainy, New Jersey, which just a week to go before a much needed Easter holiday break. Those who tuned in to last week's program heard a few news bits from Newfoundland's highly anticipated snow crab season, but in today's show we have several reports from the region. Snow crab and shrimp quotas were set, price panel decisions were announced, and industry reactions were aplenty. But there was also plenty of market news outside of Newfoundland. And we begin our headline news portion of today's show in India, where analysis of shrimp export data showed the Vietnamese market emerge as a major destination for Indian shipments in the last year. We've often reported on this show and on Underbury's Comtel India's significance as the top shrimp supplier to the U.S. market. U.S. imports of Indian shrimp this past February were up 40% and are currently carrying the load with shipments from other major suppliers in decline to start the year. But Vietnam has also been buying a lot of shrimp from India. During India's heavy harvesting period last spring, India's shrimp exports to Vietnam were higher than exports to the U.S. And last December, Indian shrimp exports to Vietnam and the U.S. were about the same, at both in terms of volume and as a percentage of India's overall exported market share. Expectations are for this trend to continue since processors continue to report domestic raw material shortages from producers in the Mekong Delta. In other news, as early as May 1st, the free trade deal between the EU and Canada, known as the CETA deal, will come into effect. This means the duty rates for some Canadian seafood exports to the European market, including live lobsters, will drop to zero essentially overnight. Both the U.S. and Canada currently have have the same duty rates for live lobster exported to Europe, but this will change under CETA. This means that Canadian producers will get a significant export advantage over Maine's lobster industry. This could put the U.S. in a position where they may have to reduce their lobster prices to compete with Canadian shippers. Finally, Alaskan halibut production during the first month of the season is lower from last year because of inclement weather. Wholesale prices for Pacific halibut, according to Erner Berry, moved higher with inventories limited ahead of Good Friday. Alaska's halibut got off to a slow start when the season opened on March 11th because of poor weather, but production picked up over the next few weeks after. However, another round of bad weather pinched production ahead of Easter. Traders said they would be closely monitoring Alaskan halibut production and supplies over the next week as the men could go higher in preparation for the last week of Lent. Now before we talk about Newfoundland, remember that you can get Head over, to see, head over to the Seafood Heaven Comtel to get premium seafood news content in addition to market quotations and analysis. Now we turn our attention to Newfoundland where we have several major stories from the province's snow crab and northern shrimp industries. First, federal fishery officials announced expected cuts to snow crab quotas for the fishing areas around Newfoundland. The province's overall snow crab quota is just over 35,000 metric tons, a decrease of about 22% compared to last year. The major reduction by volume is in Area 3L, while the 3K area quota did not get cut significantly, while the 3PS quota was slashed 50%. Industry estimates were for Newfoundland snow crab catch to be around 33,000 metric tons, so the 2017 quota is actually higher from the original forecast. Canada's snow crab fisheries highly anticipated this year since snow crab inventories are very limited because of an historic cut to Alaskan production last fall. Limited snow crab supplies pushed up market prices in the market to un unprecedented levels in 2016, according to Erneberry quotations. Current fro snow frozen snow crab quotations are delisted under Erneberry's Comtel, but last week initial contracts for snow crab packed to Japanese specs were reported at around $6.95 per pound. The snow crab season will start on April 6th in most major areas. In a related story, Newfoundland's price setting panel ruled in favor of setting the minimum raw material price for crab at $4.39 per pound. This price was proposed by the province's Fish, Food, and Allied Workers Union. This is a higher price than the $4.10 per pound that was offered by the Association of Seafood Producers. Those producers took issue with the panel's ruling, saying the decision places the industry at substantial risk of a market collapse. In some other less than positive news in Newfoundland, steep cuts to northern shrimp fishing quotas were also announced for the upcoming season. The quota for Area 6 was slashed 62%. This is the largest inshore shrimp fishing area in Newfoundland and is the basis for much of the cooked and peeled inshore industry. The cuts are basically in line with industry expectations. In February, federal biologists in Newfoundland delivered a grim stock assessment report that showed the fishable biomass of shrimp in the major fishing areas was down 80% in the last 10 years and 25% from, 2016, from 2015 to 2016 alone. Alone. Industry representatives say these federal cuts will have a devastating impact on the industry, including all shrimp plants, since the, these quota numbers mean that it will likely be impossible for all eight plants in Newfoundland to open this year. And that is it for today's show, which was brought to you by Ernerberry Seafood Import Workshop Series. We are headed to Miami on Tuesday, May 23rd to educate another class of seafood industry professionals about, the, about staying compliant with the complex maze of federal and third-party seafood certification standards. Don't miss out on this cost-efficient, timely, and intensive education 
educational experience and book your seat today by heading over to earnerberry.com slash SIW or by calling us at 732-240-5330. As always, you can tell us how we're doing on Twitter by tweeting at us at SeafoodComNews and at UVSeafood. And you can like Earnerberry and Seafood News on Facebook to learn more about what we're up to. For Earnerberry and Seafood News, I'm Michael Ramsing. Thanks for tuning in. Maybe the sun will come out next week when we're back here.